right, so I've been thinking about uh, ways to make my computer run a bit better. It's been like a year since I built it, and I've decided I'm going to do a BIOS update and um, probably try and update the rest of my drivers while I'm at it. Um, so the thing I wanted to do was make sure I get the right BIOS update information, which, I mean, I did wrong the first four times because I thought I had a Tomahawk, and I or I thought I had a uh, B450 carbon, which I don't. My old motherboard was a carbon. This one's a Tomahawk, so uh, yeah, definitely uh, make sure you get the right one. You can just go into your BIOS, and it'll tell you at the top what your motherboard is, and you can actually see what version of BIOS you're running as well, so that's a good place to start. Um, so yeah, I was... I was definitely searching for carbon and trying to flash my drive with the carbon files and it wasn't working and I was getting frustrated. Um, so yeah, now I've gone in and got the right one and updated it. What I did was I uh, just went to Google, went to the Googly, you know, and then uh, yeah, Tomahawk Max 2, boom. There's where your BIOS files are and there's a little bit of information about what's been updated each time. I'm sure you could find a detailed description of exactly what's been updated over the years, or over the versions. And then you're going to download it. It takes two seconds. You open file, extract it, go into it. There's your uh, files you need, and then you're going to put them on a thumb drive. Um, my thumb drive is plugged in, I think. Yep, it's plugged in USB, so you just format it. All right, it's been formatted. Drag the files over there. It'll copy them there. That's all you need. The text document isn't really the one that matters. It's actually this one here. Um, yeah, that's that's your new, new BIOS right there. Then you're going to restart your computer, smash F12, or F, uh, smash the delete button a bunch of times. So you get into your BIOS, and then once you're in your BIOS, you're going to go to M flash. When you click M flash, it's going to restart the computer again. It's going to come up and uh, I'll post a little video into this um, from my phone because I can't record and show you what I did in there. It's actually pretty easy. Um, you just follow the prompt basically. Delete, 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 delete. There we go. Going to go to M flash. Mouse doesn't move the best in there. It's going to restart. It's going to go into flash mode. My screen recorder is mint. You'll like that, don't you? Apparently it takes forever. Entering flash mode. Select flash. There we go. So when you got the right one down here at the bottom, it's going to show you which version you're updating to and which version you used to have. You're going to click OK. Boom. Are you sure you want to select this file? Yes. And then boom. During this process, you do want to make sure that you do not shut off your computer. Or you'll break your hard drive. There's a good chance you'll break your hard drive anyway. You may not. Um, I definitely screwed this up before and was able to get my hard drive working again by hitting the button on the motherboard. So you might get lucky if you do mess everything up. However, try your best not to mess that up. It's going to load. It'll take a few minutes. So I'll start recording again after it uh, gets to where it wants to go. All right. So now that I've done my BIOS update, I'm going to install my chipset software and, uh, you know, everything else that I can update to do with my motherboard. So I just went to uh, Google again. Uh, Tomahawk Max 2. 
by us. Either way, I went to the drivers, selected Windows 10 64, um, system and chipset drivers, downloaded that, downloaded my audio drivers, downloaded my LAN drivers, installed them all. Um, the AM4 RAID driver, I'll install that too, why not? Okay, now once all that's been installed, I'm going to move on to my GeForce Experience and I'm going to install any video driver update that I may have. So let's see if I got a driver update. Oh, look at one's ready to go. I'm going to download it and install that too while I'm at it. I have to restart my computer after I installed all the other stuff, so I may as well smash out everything I can right now. All right, now that my. Uh, BIOS is updated, all my drivers are installed, my video drivers are updated. Um, the other thing I went and did was I went into my BIOS and I turned on Game Boost and AXMP profiles. As you can see, before I turned it on, I'm running at uh, 3.6 gigahertz at 200, 26666 megahertz PDR speed. Um, then when I have gone and updated that and turned it on i went to profile number one and turned game boost on i don't know how much of a difference game boost makes but i'm gonna try it and see if my games run better um now that it's on oh that was before i turned it on so yeah so i turned it on and then i had to restart my bios that's still the same right there so now that it's been turned on i restarted my bios and this is my new speeds no, it's not. That's still the same thing. I clicked yes. This one's my new speeds. There we go. I'm running at 4.2, and my RAM's actually running at 3200 like it's supposed to. That's the I bought 3200 megahertz RAM. I haven't tried overclocking it yet, which I will later. Um, I haven't done it before, and when I tried it with my Ryzen 5, I kept getting crashes playing Warzone. So I'm going to see if the AXMP profile is uh, a little bit more reliable when I play games which I will test right after this. Um, also, game boost. I mean, it's supposed to boost the game, so see if I get an FPS boost with that. But I feel like running at 4.2 and 3200 megahertz should help. So we'll go with that for a start. All right, so I'm going to see uh, if I get any more frames on Call of Duty Warzone while playing with Afterburner. OBS running while recording. Um, I should be able to see a difference if there is one. So, I don't know. Let's find out. When I, once I get in this game here, if it ever loads. Do, 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 do.
Okay, so on Warzone, I do get a couple extra FPS. Um, it's hard to say exactly how many because now I'm using my video card for that fake green screen. I'm sure that takes a few FPS away. As well as I'm uh, recording through OBS and using Afterburner. Afterburner does take a few FPS away, so I think that I'm probably getting about 10, 15 FPS more than normal. Um, pretty good uh, for that game anyway, which already sucks anyway when it comes to FPS. Um, I'll do some other tests on other games and post videos of just the testing on that to see if my stuff runs any better, but yeah, so we'll go from there.